Shouldn't be a problem here. Which has been a very good workmanlike performance. Yet another birdie. Into the top 15 on the leaderboard. Onto the par 4 sixth here at the wetlands. And Frank, how does that water factor into the way you play this hole? It bisects this fairway beautifully, Rich. Uh, 233 yards to the run out on the first section of fairway. And that might be worth considering for the short hitters to try and flash it across the narrowest part of those wetlands, 276 yards. And of course, the more horsepower you got, actually the easier this tee shot becomes. Right where they were aiming, in the fairway. The second shot now to the par four. to be tracking well. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Frankie's going for two birdies in a row. If he can knock this one in, then that's certainly going to help the confidence. Couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Here at the par 5 7th at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, 592 yards. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. He has this putt for birdie. That's good work by the former PGA teaching professional, one of the best instructors in the country, with a birdie now inside the cut line. Eighth hole here at the Wetlands, par three, 203 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, actually, but you have to have a little look at your yardage book because that uh, front bunker will make this hole look a little shorter uh, to the eye than actually what it plays. Green gets a little narrow as it gets deeper, but um, flat. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say easy. Three here, not too bad. Well, no other way to say it, Frank. That's just an awful shot. Um, uh, <laughs> bad. Okay, 20 feet, not too bad. And it's a long way to the hole from here, never easy.
Come on, you have to make that, don't you? Drop shot here at the 8th. I don't think a tourniquet is going to work after that one. Tough to watch. The ninth hole, Frank, is a muscular par 5, 621 yards. You see why uh, length is a huge advantage of this golf course, um, just under 7,700 yards. This hole here, another example, good tee shot. Perhaps think of going for the par 5 and 2, but a great collection of three bunkers that sort of annoy you with your layup there. Got to make sure you avoid all of those to leave yourself a nice little wedge shot in here if you can't reach it in two. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Third shot, looking for a good one. This looks like it's going to find the target. Strong approach shot here at the ninth. A good opportunity to finish this side with a birdie. Getting set now over the putt. That's a nice roll, and with that birdie, now two under par for the tournament. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Par 4 sixth here at the Wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands just a mere short arm into this lengthy par four. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. One, seven, zero. That's the number, and it's the second shot. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Ian Poulter starting to make his move. Started off uh, as a club pro, Rich. Should never really have turned pro. And uh, he has defied all odds and once again chasing for the lead. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there.
Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Well, that was a beautiful drive, Frank. Really good position to take advantage. Uh, sitting up beautifully in the fairway. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Ready for his third shot. Needs to hit this close. Should be safely on deck. We just saw a player in total control of what he's doing. Didn't miss a green in regulation all day long. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. And with that birdie, moving into the top 20 on the leaderboard. On to the eighth. It's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of this green gives you like an optical illusion. You think it's lapping up with the front of this green, but there's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green, and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So a uh, tricky little par three. Now this one's starting down the right. Does not look like it's going to draw back towards the flag. But it will catch the green. On the green, sure, but plenty of real estate between the ball and the hole. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Locked in on the read and the speed. There, They'll take it. That's a par. Frank, looking at this par 5 ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par five and two, Rich. But really, the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup. In between the first two bunkers, there's a nice section of fairway. And that's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way. Wedge and a putt. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. That's an absolute beauty. And he's set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That's well played. Oh, good look at Birdie. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Come on. A few more birdies like that. Rich, you never know. Just might sneak. Placed on the podium. In the top ten right now. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. And it is not looking like a good lie. And setting up here in the rough.
Frank, I think that's going in the bunker. Looks like it. Well, that's a, that's a little absurd, that Rich. That shot wasn't that hard, but it's come up uh, well short. Didn't appear committed through impact. All right, so greenside bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? You really have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. It's that sneaky distance. Frank, you know full well, this can be a humbling game. Uh, and an embarrassing game. So, two rounds in the books. Frank, that was fun. It certainly was. It bodes well for the weekend. Uh, saw a lot of good, good players that seem to actually have a good fit for this golf course. Uh, that bodes well for the next 36 holes. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Par 4, 11, 443 yards. What's the best strategy here, Frank? Somehow find the fairway, Rich. This is brutal. Miss it left or miss it right. But uh, it's Florida. Fairways are wide enough, soft enough. But um, a good tee shot still going to leave you a lengthy second. Frank, not overly long, but still a pretty good spot and in the fairway. Yeah, that's in that 280 mark. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Remember, out of the rough. Expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. <laughs> Solid play, heart of the green. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. Par 5 12 here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club is 576 yards. First par 5 on this backside. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Playing his second shot here at the par five. He 
into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. There's a big grain, and they're gonna use every inch of it. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Frank, where is that thing? Well, thank God for small mercies. Now to the par 4 13. Frank, what are the options here? Well, another straight one required here, Rich. It's uh, 450. It's not overly long in today's standard, but still, that fairway widens up where the longer hitters will actually hit. And uh, bunkers, once again, short of a green. So as long as you can fly that second shot to at least the front of the green, then they really do not come into play. Birdie try up next. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Just a couple of feet. Good roll, solid, that's a par. Fourteenth hole here at the Wetlands, a dangerous par three, comes in at 204 yards, there's some trouble out there. And this is where you have to readjust your focus. If you start looking right or left of this green, you see all the problems that could come in and prevail. Instead, just look at that front bunker. Try and fly, fly your tee shot over that, somewhere around the front edge of the green, maybe three or four yards on, and then the hole becomes that much easier. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. just misses. That was not a very good read right there. Did the job right there. Stepping up here on the 15th tee at the Wetlands, this is a 590-yard par 5. This is not heading in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Yeah, it was a little overambitious. Set to go. Not an easy shot by any means. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Not what he wanted, but he's headed to the beach. Great knees, great hands in this shot. 
Yeah, touch. You, you, you have to have that feel. You have something between the ball and the club face, so it's a different feel, but you also have to have imagination. He'll be pleased with that. The approach shot he is about 12 feet away. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Continues to putt beautifully. So through three rounds, just outside the top 10, what kind of a chance do you give a player who is a sitting outside the first 10? Yeah, it's slim. I, I certainly would not say none, though, though, Rich. You know, we've countless times over the years seen someone post an early one in and, and watch the leaders crumble at the end. Um, good opportunity tomorrow. Put a good round on the, on the board and then just sit back and wait. And then remember, there's also the chance of a playoff. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the BioWare Classic. The last par five on this golf course is the 15th. It's 590 yards. You think, Frank, this is the time to be aggressive? Certainly is. Longer hitters must be licking their chops on this par five. 300-plus uh, yard tee shot, you can definitely get home. Shorter hitters, just set it up for a nice uh, wedge shot. But if you are going to go at this par five and two, well protected by those three bunkers. Tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. This is a good looking shot. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Clean this up with a tap. That's his par. Moving to the 16th hole here at the Wetlands, 455 yard par four, and you can see, Frank, that green is heavily guarded. And consequently, you're really gonna have to judge that second shot. You know your yardage, and also a good strikes required to safely keep the ball on the putting surface. Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. <laughs> 